Manchester Music and Warning, and these guys were at the forefront of the Manchester music scene in the early 90s and were the original 24-hour party people. Now the Happy Mondays and the Inspiral Carpets back on tour, first together and then alongside the Stone Roses and New Order at festivals throughout the summer. So in a moment we'll speak to Sean Ryder and Roetta from the Happy Mondays. And in the red corner, Clint Boone and Craig Gill from the Inspiral Carpets. I want a good, clean contest. No spitting, gouging, yeah. anything. There's only one way to decide. Oh, no, there's not just one way to decide <laughs> this. Uh, let's remind ourselves first of some of their hits. <laughs> We're chatting line ups with them all. Yeah. Sean Ryder, writer, Clint Burn and Craig Gill, all with us. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good right. morning. Looking a bit older. I'm that. I'm that. <laughs> <laughs> and you look so fresh now. We heard that Labyrinth tried to get to bed at four o'clock in the morning mm. and didn't have much sleep. Are you morning people? Well, I am, but I also only live four minutes away from yeah. you. Did you walk uh, here this morning? I, I, I jumped. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> you <laughs> you look so fresh. <laughs> I love it now because it's moved to Manchester. Salford. 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 Oh, you'll be very Bill, careful. Bill's now. moving to Salford. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be very, very Move careful. Move to Weast, aren't you, Bill? Weast. Sorry? Weast. <laughs> Weast. That's where I've heard you moving. Weast. Oh, well, if I knew where it was, I'd be like, it's been a day. It took you two seconds to get in the studio in the morning. You know more about where Bill's living than Bill knows. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> so, uh, great to see you all. We were just, as Bill said, we were just talking about lineups. Mm. Have you managed to get everybody back together? Because it appears you have, but not necessarily but everybody we saw. Yeah, we've got Stephen, our original singer. The, the guy you just saw there was Tom Ingley, and uh, he left last year. So we've got Stephen Holt back in, who was the original singer. Mm. Mm. So it's the original lineup. It's, uh, it's a good lineup. It works. Did it take much persuasion for you all to get back together? Because there are sometimes, and I think it was the case with, with your band too, there's always one or two who say, I'm never going back again. There has been, and then puff. We've, if somebody's not wanted to do it, we've, we've not done it. But it just helps the demand build up in between doing gigs. Mm. And have you toured together before? As far as we never toured. We did gigs with them but back in the day. We did, our first gig abroad was uh, mm. Valencia. Sean won't remember this. But uh, we did Valencia back in uh, the mid 80s. When I got sunburned. Sean had sunstroke. That's yeah, right, yeah. sunstroke. Yeah. Really, yeah, yeah, yeah. really bad. <laughs> yeah. Someone left me on a beach for eight hours of sleep. Ooh, in Spain. Someone yeah. in Spain. Somebody left you. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. Everybody kept saying, oh, that singer for that wonders is asleep on the beach and they're like, leave him, it'll be all right. <laughs> I think they're on at six o'clock in the morning. I think Gaz, your drummer, fell off his drum stool at the, the end okay. of the set. Fell off the Rowetta, you were known then as the 24 hour party people. On the road now, mm. is it a slightly more sedate schedule? Yeah, definitely. We've got a lot of gigs to do as well, and some of the, well, the rest of the band, they've aged a lot. They're all older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Have you just stayed the same? I've stayed the same, yeah, but the rest of them are a bit older than they used to be. So, no, I'm joking. We, we're going to work hard, though, because we've got a lot of gigs well, to do. Do you have to get his sort of cocoa and slippers out, then? Well, I don't, but his wife probably does. Yeah. 
You know what? I've got 17 kids between us. I've just worked it out. What? Between us four, I've got 17. That's between you and you. That's just between me and you. Yeah. Yeah. I said we're up all night. Now we're up all night looking after kids. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You, I mean, clearly, everyone's grown up. It has got, it has all calmed down a bit. Nobody's going to be leaving you on a beach for eight hours. You can look after yourself. No, you're probably sure. leaving me on the service station or something like that. <laughs> what, what is it going to be like, then, being on the road together? 17 kids between you, presumably not coming with you. Oh, no, no. no. I mean, it's, it, you know, this time around, I actually think it'll be, it'll be fun. You know, I mean, when we, when we did it originally, it, you're just in such a, you know, you're on a treadmill, and, it's, and it really is business, you know what I mean? So, I mean, there's not much time to enjoy it or anything. So this time, at least, you know, we're all older, we're all slowed down a bit, we can enjoy it, you know what we're doing. Yeah. Does that mean that you take time between gigs? It's not such a kind of relentless thing? Do you, have you got more control over how you plan it? And you think, actually, I can't do that. I can't, I couldn't. I could yeah. go, you know what I mean? I mean, we went on tour. Our tour's lasted for years. And we can't party every night like we used to. No, we I can't party can't. at all. Well, yeah. what, do you do? what do you do after a gig nowadays? Straight to bed for me. No. Really? Sometimes we'll DJ, do a little DJ gig maybe, but... Yeah, when we're on two, it's just you pace yourself, get rid of it next day. Yeah. It's boring, isn't it? And to bed with a glass of red wine and a nice book. Yeah, well, you see some of the, the old hits um, this morning's there, we're looking at one now, but will there be new music on the tour? We write new music, we've done uh, quite a few new songs and we'll be, uh, maybe not in this set with the Mondays, I think it's going to be a hit set that we're doing with these guys, so. Right. But we have been uh, writing new stuff. We've just before. finished our own tour and we've played our new single, Your Tuzzle, today, and mm -hmm. uh, a couple of other new Get ones. that in! Quick that, <laughs> <laughs> what is it again? <laughs> <laughs> anything, you, anything you want to tell us about new music, Sean? Uh, no, actually, I mean, well, I've actually got an album coming out uh, next year, <laughs> along with my TV show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think everyone's got new projects, but we are yeah. doing it. We have got, got to concentrate on Happy Wonders at the moment. Yeah. We have to, we don't we? We've got to rehearse and everything. And you, you brought and enjoy it. And you brought in a very different direction, didn't you? Because you were on X Factor last week. Yeah, I did. And, well, I did, did stuff well. with Hooky and things. I did really well with it, but at the moment I am just focusing on this because we've got songs. I love the music and I did miss doing this music. I love the songs. And the new fans that have never seen the original lineup before, it's brilliant for them, you know, to see these bands that we've never seen before live. And the whole lineup, to get our whole lineup together, I thought it'd never happen. When you I say didn't think I'd be sat next to Sean ever again, so it's great, I think. And when you say whole lineup, is Bez there with the Miracles? Absolutely, yeah. There's, uh... Rumor started that Bez isn't, isn't there, but he is, absolutely, 110%. Mm. He might not want to shake maracas to every tune he said, he might not. What's he going to be doing? He'll be getting the crowd going, DJing, yeah. comparing, he'll be with us. Good. All yeah. right, well, sounds very exciting. When's the tour start? May. I don't know. 4th of May. 4th of May. 4th of May. 3rd of May. 3rd of May. Do you know where it is? 4th of May, I'm on the first one. Got that nailed down. All right. Guys, thanks very much. It won't be the same if you don't turn up. No, no. And we're all back to Sean's because he's closest for some breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to some breakfast. Egg and bacon. Nice to be in the north, by the way. Wow. It's nice to be here. It's very good to be here. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Sticking with the northern theme, actually.